So how we doing, guys? Well, all right, all right. How we doing, everybody? Your old pal Baba Ganoush here once again. Oh man, oh man. Yeah, as you can see, I got the pack on. Got the GoPro out in front of me. I must be going somewhere. Oh boy, oh boy, I am so excited for this, as you can see with the big smile on my face. So, all right, I am up here at Harpers Ferry, West Virginia. I got four days off that I'm gonna be hitting the trail. What I'm gonna be doing is heading north. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how many miles I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna figure out when I cross that bridge and uh, we'll go from there. So I picked one heck of a week to be out here. It is supposed to actually be pretty nice weather. I'm not gonna lie. The last couple of weeks have just been bitter cold. Uh, you know, we've gotten some snow flurries. We had freezing rain uh, just yesterday, in fact. So everything's a little slick. Um, you know, I'm taking some extra precaution with some of my footing today. And in fact, when I was up at the Harpers Ferry, Harpers Ferry Visitor Center, uh, the park rangers were really, really uh, cautioning against me taking the side trail from the visitor center because you have all these, um, it's really rocky and it's all like these rocky steps that go down and they're just like, please, please don't do it. So I was like, okay, fine. <laughs> I'll take your advice. So, you know, they just sent me, they're just like, hey, take the side road. You know, they've been, I, you know, they've been sanding that and doing that. I was like, they're just like, take the side road until things can get defrosted later this week kind of deal. So I'm taking the side road. So I'm actually about to come on down towards where the uh, the side trail intersects just now. It is uh, just going on 11 o'clock, and I got a BEA UT full day for hiking out in front of me. It's supposed to be in like the uh, the mid 40s, you know, partly sunny all day. It was really foggy this morning, but I can see the skies are opening up. Oh wait, I'm so excited. I'm not quite sure if you guys can tell just yet, but obviously I have a new camera accessory, I decided to get a stick pick. You know, I love the Gorilla Pod, I love the three-way grip, but it's always tough really trying to figure out where to put those things on my backpack because they are a little bit bigger and a little bit bulkier. And so I wanted to try something where I can decrease my overall weight for my upcoming through hike, but still be able to get a lot of the same functionality and the same shots that I did with my previous set of camera accessories. So I got some new stuff with me. I'm super excited. Obviously, I'm loving it so far with just using my trekking pole. I cannot wait. So let me put you away. It is a little bit chilly this morning. I got to get warmed up. So let me put you away. Let me get up on up on the way. Hit the trail. Talk to you guys further on down the trail. Thanks so much for following along. It's going to be a great four days. Talk to you guys real soon. Bob Ganoush out. So yeah, guys, as you can see, I'm kind of enjoying the stick pick already. It actually is kind of easier to hold my GoPro now just with my trekking pole out. As well as being a little bit further away, you guys can get a little bit more of a view as what's going on behind me as well, which is kind of nice. So, I got a new little chest pack here. I don't know if you guys saw my last backpacking trip with Fernando. I was trying out an idea where I used a, uh, a climbing chalk bag, and that worked really, really great. I was really happy with it. My only issue is that it was like kind of bulky, so it kind of like protruded out a little bit. And like, depending on how I was hiking, sometimes it would sway just a little bit too much for my liking. So I had a, I have a coworker of mine, Katie. She works for Asset Protection. Uh, so just really cool, down to earth person. That's why we get along very well. And so she had a bunch of these Molly bags laying around and she asked if I wanted one. And so as soon as she brought it in and I saw this thing, I was like, that is exactly what I've been looking for. It sits right on my sternum strap. It's like flat on the back side of it as well, so it doesn't wobble all over the place, and it's stable, and yet it's just enough room to house my GoPro with the stick pick attached, and I have a little tiny pair of tripod legs sitting in here as well. Now, it's not insulated, it's not waterproof. I will probably spray it down with waterproofing spray just to give a little extra protection, but I can always throw in like my bandana or whatever the case may be to insulate my camera, do what I need to do. So, all right, guys, I got this little flat, flat stretch to go here for a few miles. And then I got to climb up to Weaverton Cliffs, one of my favorite views that I've hit in all the sections that I've done, Weaverton Cliffs. Let me put you away. Let me get on up to talk to you guys further on down the trail. Baba Ganoush, out. How we doing guys, your old pal Baba Ganoush here. Here I am up at Weaverton Cliffs. 
I honestly thought that climb up to Weaverton Cliffs up to here was going to be a lot tougher. So I'm kind of uh, pretty impressed that it wasn't. You know, I'm uh, looking pretty forward to my through hike now. Just met a gentleman coming down here before. He's actually uh, finishing up his flip flop flip flip flop soon. I'm not going to edit that one out. I'm going to put that one in there. Flip flop flume. Um, you know, good on him. Congratulations to him. Makes me even more pumped for my own upcoming Appalachian Trail through hike. Uh, but otherwise, I'm just going to enjoy this beautiful view for the time being. Weaverton Cliffs, I'm only like two and a half miles away from Ed Garvey Shelter. Um, I don't know if I'm going to stay there or I'm gonna, I don't know if I'm going to push past to, I think it's called Crompton Gap if I remember correctly. Something or other. Um, which will be like seven more miles. Now, it is just about 145. If I just go to Ed Garvey, then maybe I can push myself a little bit harder tomorrow since I have pretty, pretty decent terrain. So I think that's maybe what I'm going to do. I think I'm just going to get myself up to Ed Garvey tonight, only two and a half more miles, uh, making a nice early night and things like that so I can just relax and uh, really push the miles tomorrow and stretch those legs a little bit. So let me hang out here for a little bit longer since I don't have much further to go. Just going to enjoy this nice view. Talk to you guys further up the trail. Pleasure as always. Baba Ganoush out. Well, all right, all right. How we doing, guys? Your old pal Baba Ganoush here. So we made it. It's 3 o'clock, Ed Garvey Shelter. I was good, kind of relaxing the last few hours. So I stayed a while at uh, Weaverton Cliffs and got a good number of pictures and everything. So, again, I'm out here to enjoy myself, not out here to push miles. You know, especially the upcoming through hike, I don't want to tear my body apart. I want to, you know, do the miles, get some good exercise, but, you know, still think of my body, take that in consideration, and take care of it as best as I can. So I got here, like I said, 3 o'clock. I got an hour and a half, two hours or so till sundown. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, set up camp, I guess, and then I'll go ahead and go get my water, go do my stuff. But first, probably quickly, I'm going to change into warmer clothes. I think that's a good idea. So talk to you guys real soon. I'm going to chat. <laughs> Brisk, brisk morning. It's about uh, 26, 27 degrees right now. Pretty cold. Wind has been uh, wind has been going pretty all night long. Not too bad, but you know, enough to where it definitely cooled things down pretty good in the middle of the night. Um, yeah, got a nice got a nice day ahead of me. Not even sure how many gonna how many miles I'm gonna do. I'm gonna play it by year. I can either do I think like nine miles or I can do like 15 miles today. We'll see how things go. But it's uh, just about 7:30. Got to get changed, got to stay warm, got to get up, get, get some good food into me. Catch the guys in a little bit. Let me get packed up, let me get warmed up. Talk to you guys real soon. Going to be a good day. Baba Ganoush out. How are we doing, guys? Oh, boy. Brisk, brisk morning. So I've been already hiking for probably about a half an hour, just a little bit after 10 o'clock. You know, I've got a little bit of a late start. You know, as is always with the colder weather, things are a little bit tougher, things move a little bit slower. So especially I switch up my routine a little bit different in the morning during the winter as opposed to during the summer I can just kind of wake up, wake up, put clothes on, get up and go kind of deal. Uh, winter, you know, got to put the right amount of clothes on at the right time. You know, I always try to get up and make myself a nice uh, hot cup of coffee just to get things going before I even have my breakfast or really fully pack my stuff up. You know, just something that I like to do. My filter was starting to freeze up on me just a little bit this morning. I noticed that my water was starting to really get down to a trickle. So after that, I quickly just disconnected the thing, put it into a Ziploc, it's now sitting in my jacket here. Just, you know, getting my body heat, staying, staying defrosted. So this morning's a little bit challenging <laughs> with everything, everything trying to freeze up on me. So it's all part of the adventure, it's all part of the fun. You know, winter backpacking provides so many different challenges. You know, it actually is kind of fun that way. It really keeps you on your toes and really, 
you know, challenges your uh, your experience and your wherewithal. So I kind of enjoy it, actually. Whew. So hopefully we turn out to be a beautiful day here. Going to look forward to doing some good mileage. Going to enjoy it. Got some good snacks. Got some good music. Going to be a beautiful, beautiful day. Catch you guys further on down the trail. Baba Ganusha out. All right. So it's uh, just a little after 1230. Hiking for a good couple hours. I passed Gathlin State Park quite a while ago, in fact. I've just been putting some good miles behind me. I feel good today. My legs feel nice and strong, right? I'm not, I'm nice and cool. I'm nice and dry. You know, it's a pretty chilly day. It's only in like the low to mid forties. You know, the sun's not peeking out too much, which of course makes, makes it feel just a little bit colder. Slight breeze coming through as well, but you know what? Most importantly, I'm dry. Ah, so haven't even looked at my guidebook. I know I'm coming up on a nice couple overlooks just because I've done this section before. So I kind of know the area, the lay, the lay of the land pretty well around here. Um, you know, if I come across a good checkpoint, I'll stop and take my guidebook out and get a better idea where I'm at. Just so I can uh, start to keep track of time just a little bit better as to where I'm, where I'm going to stay tonight. Um, but yeah, just after 1230, I can easily do maybe even have another eight or nine miles. I'm guessing that I've done close to like six, six and a half, maybe. I don't know, somewhere around there. Today, Maryland's a pretty easy section. You can really pull out the miles around here. So I'm just having a good day. Good, good day. Obviously, I'm uh, feeling good. I'm excited to be out here. Huh. I'm home. I'm home. Ah, it's always good to be out here. Nor rain, nor sleet, nor snow nor sunshine. I want to be out here. Where else would you rather be? So coming up on some good views. Let me put you away. Let me keep you warm. Let me continue on the way to keep me warm. Catch up with the guys further on down the trail. Baba Ganoush out. two miles past um, uh, the war memorial that was back there uh, yeah now Gathlin State Park yeah 3.2 miles past Gathlin State Park so I'm making really good time today doing some really good miles in fact um, and it's just about one o'clock right now awesome so I figured I'd stop here for just a quick moment get a good view in it's a little overcast but you can see the sun's trying to peek through a little breezy a little chilly beautiful day overall it's funny earlier today I had other hikers pass me and a lady was like, beautiful day, huh? And I just had to think myself for a minute. On a day like today, a typical, typical person would have looked outside and be like, eh, what a crappy day. And yet a hiker looks at it and goes, what a beautiful day. <laughs> cool, a little bit of overcast, but just enough warmth to, uh, you know, keep you above freezing your face off kind of thing. Woo. So I'm going to stop here for just a minute or two, have a quick snack, quick drink, continue on the way. Starting to run pretty low on water. I haven't come across any water sources, so I'm definitely looking forward to a couple of those coming up soon. And, you know, we'll see where I'm staying tonight. You know, I'll start to uh, keep an eye on my time, on my mileage, on my location a little bit more these next couple hours, and we'll go from there. So let me put you away. Let me keep you warm. Let me snack up. Talk to you guys further on down the trail. Baba Ganoush, out. Well, all right, all right, all right. How we doing, guys? Up here at the beautiful Washington Monument, Unfortunately, the gate is locked, so I won't be able to go into it. But in the meantime, I'm going to get you a good view like this. The balcony out front is still always open. Beautiful, beautiful view. I'm going to be pushing on to Pine Knob. That's just coming up in just a few miles here. It's uh, just a little bit past 4 o'clock. Let's actually get you the official time. <laughs> the official time is 5 minutes after 4. If sundown is at like 5.30 or so, right around 5.30. I'm in good shape if it's only a few miles away. 
Beautiful view. Way to finish off part of the day. Ah, over 16 miles on a shorter day when it's cold weather. Gotta love it. Doing really nice. Legs feel really good. Back feels good. Feel nice and strong. Um, but you know, <laughs> still gotta do all this stuff on the way back uh, over the next two, two days. Not just one, but two days. So, but I'm looking forward to it. As always, you know me. I mean, look at my enthusiasm. You know I love being out here. Doesn't matter if it's cold, rather, right? doesn't matter if it's super hot. I just want to be out here to be out here, enjoy my time while I can. Ah, beautiful view. You know, I'll be passing by this tomorrow, but you know, the last time, the next time pretty much I'm going to be passing by this will be uh, got my through hike. So, let me put you away. Let me get up on the way while I still got some sunlight. Talk to you guys further on down the trail. Bob Ganoush out. So how are we doing, guys? So it's probably a lot darker than it looks on camera right now because I do have the low light setting on the camera. Uh, yeah, it's pretty dark. It's, uh, I honestly have no idea what time it is right now. I haven't looked at my watch in the longest time. But I do hear Route 70 not too far up ahead, which means I'm getting real close. I have maybe, maybe half a mile left to go or so. So we'll get in right around dark. I'll be just fine. Hopefully the uh, shelter will be empty so I can just set up right in there, which would be nice. Ah, beautiful, beautiful day. Starting to get a little chilled. So I got the buff turned up over the face a little bit, you know. You know, I don't feel like having uh, my nose freeze, freeze off. You know, that would be kind of nice. Yeah, I'm sure my mother would appreciate it, especially for uh, family portraits and Christmas pictures. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you know, I was getting a little chilled. For certain, I can feel the uh, for certain I can feel the temperature dropping. But uh, you know, I'm just stay moving, stay warm. But I'm just doing my best to stay dry. So when I roll into camp, I can just quickly toss on warm clothes, stay warm. But worst thing I could do right now is start to sweat. So I'm doing what I can not to. <laughs> I'm sacrificing my warmth. <laughs> But just a little bit left to go. I can hear the highway up ahead. Let me put you away. Let me get on up so I can get on in, have my dinner warm on up a little bit. Might call an early night tonight so I can get up early tomorrow morning and do these miles all over again. I know that sounds terrible, but I'm actually looking forward to it. So I'll talk to you guys real soon. Bubba Ganoose out. Boom. Well, all right, all right, all right. How we doing, guys? Woo. Ah, I'm so excited for today. It is a B-E-A-U-T-Full Thursday morning, day number three. I'm basically going to be backtracking and doing all the miles that I did yesterday. So I'm going to be stretching it out, doing the 16 to Ed Garvey. It is 10 o'clock right now. Um, yeah, I probably should have left maybe about an hour ago, even maybe half an hour ago. But, uh, you know, we had some people come on into the shelter this morning, so we were just chatting for a little bit. You know, chatting for the last half hour, 45 minutes or so. You know, good people. Plus as well, obviously with winter, everything's moving a little bit slower. So I'm just taking my time, making sure I get, I get my ducks in order, get my food, get myself warmed up and stretched out just a little bit. Get my legs warmed up before I hit the trail because it is cold. Now I'm off and running. Well, hiking, not running, but you get the point. So yeah, 16 and a half miles to do today. You know, I'm just going to get there, get there when I get there. Just do the miles, take one step at a time. We'll see what happens. So one thing going on, it appears as though I have a slight leak in my air pad. Um, I don't know if I, you know, had a piece of debris in my tent last night or setting up in the shelter. I accidentally put it on something and it punctured a tiny little hole somewhere. But it appears as though I have a small leak in my uh, sleeping pad right now it's nothing too crazy but basically every like three to four hours i gotta get up and inflate it a little bit more it's weird it doesn't fully deflate it still stays inflated enough to keep me just off the ground kind of deal but as soon as i rotate my hips in like my butt just touches the ground you can feel the cold ground so i don't know what's going on there we'll see what happens maybe it's time for a new sleeping pad mm -hmm. You never know, you never know. So let me get on up here, let me get warmed up, let me do the miles. I'll deal with my sleeping pad later on when I get into camp, see if maybe there's a pinhole leak anywhere, but we'll deal with that 
further on down the road. Talk to you guys real soon. Baba Ganoush out. Well, all right, all right, all right, guys. How are we doing here? We're here at Rocky Run. Rocky Run, Rocky Road, one or the other. Rocky Run Shelter, I believe it's called. Uh, so this means I'm 9.1 miles away from Ed Garvey Shelter. I'm feeling pretty good, but it's time to go get some water. And yes, it's a little bit windy. Just a little bit, a little bit. But let's go get some water, guys. Well, all right, all right, we got water, folks. Time to get up on the way. It is one o'clock exactly, so I'm just on time. So if I can be out of here in the next 10 to 15 minutes or so, probably less, I'll be a happy, happy camper. That means I'll get into camp right about 5.30 tonight, right as the sun's going down. So let me put you away, let me get on up, filter water, continue on my way. Talk to you guys real soon. Baba Ganoush out. So I am up here at Gathlin State Park, the War Correspondence Memorial. So I'm only about three and a half miles from uh, Ed Garvey Shelter, which is nice, and it's just past 3.30. So the fact that I'm just over three and a half miles, just past 3.30, should get in there actually earlier than I got into um, Pine Knob Shelter yesterday, which is nice. So what's funny is yesterday I was around here taking pictures and I was fumbling with some of my camera gear for my new Sony camera, and I accidentally dropped the lens cap. So I can't, knowing I was coming back through here, I just kept on moving. Came back through today, searched around, and sure enough, I found it. So I found the lens cap. I don't have to get a replacement. Bonus. So let me put you away. Let me con continue on up, get the mileage in so I can get in before sundown, get my water, camp set up, so on and so forth. Talk to you guys real soon. Papa Ganoush out. Boom. All right, all right. So how we doing, guys? So we're here at Garvey. Ed Garvey Memorial Shelter. Really cool shelter. It's actually double tiered, so I'm actually uh, probably going to go upstairs since nobody's here. It is 10 to 5 right now, so I made it here about 50 minutes faster today than I did yesterday. Same mileage. So, obviously, now today I wasn't doing all the film work and all the uh, taking as many pictures with my new camera as I was yesterday, so certainly yesterday that slowed me down a little bit, but I was also cranking out the miles for the last couple hours. Just trying to get here before dark, not because I, not because I want to get here before dark and I'm afraid of the dark. Uh, it's because it's a really long uh, hike down the hillside to go get water, and I would feel just more comfortable and a little bit safer doing that with a little bit of sunlight left, um, just so I can see my footing a little bit better. So I'm glad I got here. I'm gonna go upstairs, get my stuff settled in. Hopefully it will be nice if I'm the only person here so I can have my privacy, but otherwise I'll take the upstairs, stay quiet. My pad is leaking a little bit on me, so I'm going to go upstairs out of the wind as well, so maybe I can hear where the pinhole leak is and put some super glue on it. But first thing first, I got to put you guys away, put my pack upstairs, and go get some water. I'll talk to you guys real soon. Baba Ganoush out. So how's it going, guys? Real pal Baba Ganoush here. So right now, everything's morning is covered in condensation. It rained all last night. It got kind of foggy, got kind of muggy. So everything's a little bit damp this morning. Um, you know, so I only have eight and a half miles to do. It's just going on nine o'clock right now. Yeah, you know, I'm just kind of taking my time, getting up and going this morning. Um, really no rush. I'll just wear my rain gear, wear it on out. It's like all downhill and flat. So I'm good to go. So a really funny thing happened this morning. Uh, I just went to go put my boots on real quick, and it appears as though as some little squirrel or chipmunk decided to use one of my boots as their acorn stash. Uh, <laughs> so I got to put my foot in, and there must have been like six or seven acorns sitting in my boot. Obviously, I didn't put them last night, there last night. I don't know how they got there, so it looks like some little uh, some little critter used my, one of my boots to stash their acorns last night, which is funny because it was sitting... Jeez, two feet away from me the entire night, and I didn't even notice it. That's how probably deep, how how probably deep I slept last night. I slept great, I'll tell you that much. So, eight and a half miles to do today. Heading back to the car, unfortunately. But the next time I'll be up here, we'll be on my through hike, which puts a big smile on my face. So let me put you away. Let me uh, get my breakfast into me. Get my stuff packed up. Out on the trail. I'll talk to you guys real soon. Baba Ganoush out.
Well, all right, all right, all right. How we doing, guys? As you can pretty, as you can see, uh, it's a uh, pretty foggy day. Pretty foggy, but it's actually pretty warm. Um, you know, they're talking that it's going to get up close to 60 degrees today, which is pretty awesome, actually. So I'm all right, so I'm still wearing kind of like the same getup right now. It's a little bit chilled. I want to get my body temperature up. Um, but it's going to get pretty warm today. I have a t-shirt underneath this that I can go down to. Otherwise, the same regular getup where you see me wearing wearing the uh, the odd low tights with the running shorts. You know, I got my gaiters on today, as I always do to keep the dirt out, the mud and the dirt out. You know, so I'm doing pretty good. You know, starting to sweat just a tiny little bit. Again, it is like kind of a muggy, humid day. That also could just be with the amount of moisture in the air is making me a little bit damp. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Either way, one or the other. But pretty quiet morning. I'm not even playing my music. I'm just just listening to the sounds of silence. So I know I got Weaverton Cliffs coming up, but with all this fog, there's really not going to be all, a whole lot to see. So I'm not going to bother stopping. Um, but we'll cross that bridge when I get there, I guess. And then from there on out, it's basically just a straight shot up the Shen along the uh, Shenandoah River there, back to my truck. Whew. So, but I still got a good, I think like eight miles to do today. I'm probably down to maybe close to seven already. It's just going on 11 o'clock in just a few minutes here. You know, I'm not trying to crank out the miles today. I did that the last two days. Today, it's a nice relaxing day. Enjoy my last day on the trail, my last miles on the trail before I'm back out here one more time. Hopefully one more time before I go on my through hike. So let me put you away. Let me continue on, get out of some of these clouds here and hopefully things start to clear out and uh, you know become a little bit better throughout the day. So I'll talk to you guys real soon. Baba Ganoush out. Well, all right, guys, here we are, Weaverton Cliffs. So I'm not gonna hike down. It's a pretty overcast, pretty cloudy day. Yeah, I can see the river and other such things, but without the sun, it just isn't the same. Plus. I've been here before. I got some great pictures the other day. I purposely spent the first two days taking my time taking pictures and these last two days not really doing the same pictures or video work because the weather hasn't been as well. So the first two days getting in the pictures, getting in the video work while the weather's looking good. Well, I have good lighting and then the other two days just, yeah, you know, hiking my hike, spending more time just uh, paying attention to the trail and doing what I do, um, you know, Kind of serves serves me very well. So obviously you can hear the background coming up on the uh, up on the Shenandoah River. You know I got to obviously traverse down this whole uh, this whole mountainside first, and then I'll get down there, and then it's a straight shot into uh, Harpers Ferry. Woo! Talk to you guys real soon. Out.